So individually, you can make six figures, two fifty, five hundred thousand dollars a year without ever building a business. You follow me? But the moment you stop actively selling services, guess what happens to your active income? It actively stops. <laughs> you have to decide how you're going to close off this year to have this passive income become a reality for you in 2022. I, I'm telling you, this is not rocket science. Zero. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jeter. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. So active versus passive. Active income means it's income received from a job or business venture that you actively participate in. Examples of active income include wages, salaries, bonuses, Commissions, tips, and net earnings from self-employment. In other words, the income they make you, you're a 1099, right? So you, you, you sell a policy. You're actively selling a policy. That's active income. Passive income is what? Income that you can earn with relatively minimal, minimal effort. Such as renting a property or earning money from a business without much participation. active participation. Did I say no effort? But what is it? Relatively minimal. Relatively minimal. Okay, so let me give you an example. Is this meeting happening right now in Chicago? Yes. Is this meeting happening right now in Oakland? Yes. Is this meeting happening right now in San Diego? Yes. Is this meeting happening right now in my two offices in Memphis? Yes. Is this meeting happening right now in Jacksonville? Yes. Is this meeting happening right now in Columbia, Maryland? Yes. Is this meeting happening right now in uh, Orlando? Yes. Is this meeting happening right now in, in uh, Hollywood, Florida? Yes. Minimal effort or maximum effort for me? Yes. Uh, do I look stressed to you? No. Do, you have, do I have five screens? Hey, 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 hey. Get to work, get to work, get to work. Minimal effort. But you have to do a lot of heavy lifting in the beginning. That's it. Okay? So next, next slide. So practice for a business. Okay, don't be confused in a financial service or service-based business, the difference between a practice and a business. Okay? What, 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 what do these people have all in common? Lawyer, life insurance agent, financial planner, dentist, doctor, engineer, architect. What do they all have in common? Some type of certification. Some type of certification. They need a professional license. Okay, so what, these guys make money by selling what? Services. services. Do they make a lot of money selling services? Yes. Do attorneys make a lot of money selling their services? Yes. Doctors and dentists, mm -hmm. engineers, architects. Financial planners, accountants, and, and, and uh, uh, insurance agents, yes? yes? By selling products and Service. services. So individually, you can make six figures, two fifty, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 a year without ever building a business. Right. You follow me? Yes. But the moment you stop actively selling services, guess what happens to your active income? Stop. It actively stops. <laughs> okay? That's why producers or people that build a practice long-term burn out. Somebody along the line, if you are not careful about the whispers they have in your ear, they're going to sell you, it's not worth it to build a business. It's not worth it to build people. It's not worth it to build a system. It's not worth it to have accountability. It's easier just to worry about yourself, get a high commission contract, so therefore you can make 100000 200000 and call it a day. They're going to sell you on a lower standard and if you're not careful you'll listen so a business is passive income because it's a system not you a system ran by people that show up to work sell and create transactions so Bobby initially you're gonna create transactions but long term guess what's gonna happen to you your business is gonna create a system where multiple transactions are gonna happen so as an individual practitioner for 14 years I was here I was selling life insurance, making 300, 350,000 a year selling insurance. So bottom line, guys, without this, you'll still make six figures in this industry, even in this platform. So if you want to make six figures in 2022, Matt, if this train means nothing to you and you just happen to stumble around and stick around long enough, you can make, you can make six figures here in this industry on this platform in 2022. Stick around long enough, watch what happens to you. Okay, pr practice versus business. Commission from sales is me. Spread commission for multiple sales is we. Let me show you, next slide. This is where I started in 2015, okay? This, this is my entire career since when I first started. Year one, 131,000 active income. 
77,000 passive income. You guys get five me so far? Total of? Two eight. eight. You think, so we, we're going to start figuring this stuff out. Okay, babe, we got to do this. 2016, 195, because Sheena got really good at this thing. Whoa, babe, I can write business. 194,000. But? Mm. Passive income. Mm -hmm. We had more people writing. You know why? Because you committed to recruiting. Mm. Some of you guys think recruiting is so, so damn difficult. Don't overthink this thing. Sell the damn crusade. Sell the reason why people put, uh, you're putting money in people's pocket. You, some of you guys try to build a financial service company. Nobody wants to join financial services, but everybody wants to change their life. Mm -hmm. We went from 208 to 646 in income. Year three, what happened to our active income? It kind of oh, yeah. dipped. So imagine your income without passive income goes from 194 to 144. Is that a little bit of a lifestyle change? Yeah. Hey, babe, we kind of got to peel back and, you know, maybe it's not surf and turf. We just go with surf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Instead of the filet McNan, we'll go to filet. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> fl yeah, like filet of fish and make a okay? But guess what happened to our... Guess what happened to our base shop override income? From here to here. Because we committed to recruiting and building people. And guess what income? 2008, by the way, even though it was 1930 in the calendar year, what happened in January? We crossed over cash flow, cash flow in a 52 week rolling period the next year. Guess what happened? Shit. Okay. So if, let's say your employer said, oh, I'm going to take you down from 194 to 144. And, oh, we can only afford to pay you 95,000. Is that like you're downsizing now, aren't you? Yeah. But guess what happened to <laughs> Right, million? 2019. This is all, what, five years into the game? Mm -hmm. Look at that. What the, what the heck? <laughs> but guess what happened? <laughs> Boom. Active, passive, total. Boom, 20, pandemic. What gave us confidence during the pandemic is the four, the four or five years of doing this. Right, the four or five years of doing this, now we can face emergencies. Now we can lead the way. 190, so Sheena picked it back up, right? Why do I say Sheena? By the way, both of us are licensed. Right. But she's the writer. Okay? Okay? Look at her income. Passive. Well, see it? By the way, this is, this is written as of three, 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 four weeks ago, so this is not, not even updated yet. Right? Because if I, if I showed you our, uh, what's, what's our income for the month? We got paid today, didn't we? Yeah. So, good. Uh, that's, that's, our, that's our income for the month. Read it out loud, Ashanti. Okay. $146,065.89. Take mine, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, so, it's 146 And we still got a commission check on uh, a payday on Friday still. So, we're not done yet. Okay. Here's the a, here's a coolest part. We've shown this and duplicated with other people. The team's starting to do this. The team start. So in other words, people's 2020 is our 2015. You guys got it? So in other words, for many of you, your 2021 is our 2015. That's why I say don't confuse my chapter 35 with your chapter 1. But guess what we did here, though? So some of you guys think, well, Matt, that's, that's kind of nuts. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. I don't recommend this, but some of you crazy enough in here might incorporate it. Mm -hmm. She and I decided not to take any days off for three years outside of Sundays. We work Saturdays. We work Sunday afternoons. That's what we decided to do, okay? Because we were angry. We, were, we had things going on in our life. We wanted to play freaking offense. Anyway, guess what? We started paying our guys in 2015. So we got paid 208, but the rest of our guys, mm -hmm. guess what they got paid? So my, so my, the difference. So six, so my team, the people that aligned with me, they shared a six hundred thousand dollar pool of, of cash flow. Two thousand sixty. You guys follow me? Yeah. My guys got paid two million dollars a day. My payroll to my guys who, who decided to come on this crusade, we got paid six forty six. But my guys got paid two, two million. So one point four. Yeah. Next year, two thousand seventeen, we paid got nine sixty five, two point six. Mm -hmm. Two thousand eighteen, three point seven. Nineteen, six point one. Oh, wow. Twenty, thirteen mil. Right now, <laughs> and we're far from done. 
We're far from done. We're just tired of figuring this thing out. Uh, is that the last slide? That's the last slide, right? Okay, yeah. you, can, you can close it out. So guys, as I wrap up, you have to decide how you're gonna close off this year to have this passive income become a reality for you in 2022. I, I, I'm telling you, this is not rocket science. Zero. Well, Matt, I don't have, I don't have talent. You don't need talent here. This is, not a, this is not a talented bit. You're not uh, debating with another attorney in court. I'm not asking you to read x-rays. <laughs> I'm not asking you to do crowns. I'm not asking you to do architectural designs. I'm not asking you to back engineer how to build a 100-story building in Dallas. We're not asking you to do that. This, this is not talent. This is just execution. Dealing with you. Dealing with your own laziness. Dealing with your excuses. Dealing with your procrastination. Dealing with your limited mentality at times. And that's why this is very important for you. Because guess what happened to many of you today because you decided to show up during the golden week. By just being here, you said, I'm breaking through this shit. I am breaking through. Many, many of your peers and colleagues did not come tonight. Why? It's the golden week. Come on, Matt. You know, it's the holidays. Yeah, I could have said that too. I could have said that. By the way, based on our passive income, could we have not come here and we still made, mil we still made money? But you, you know what I'm here for? You know what I'm here for? The three of you, the four of you, that's got the eye of the tiger, that's absolutely going to make a killing in 2022. Notice I said the three or four of you. And by the way, I don't know who that is. Guess who does know that who that is? That person. Passive income is a reality. I want you guys to elevate over this thing. So therefore, you can, you can inspire your community to stop walking around in fear. Because th that's what the media is doing to everybody right now. Fear, fear, fear. Omicron. Da, da, da. Oh, shit. Guess what's starting to make a comeback? The flu. Right? Oh my gosh, people are getting the flu again. People are starting to get the flu again. Reading about those news. CDC, CDC said, well, if you're not showing symptoms, well, instead of quarantining for 10 days, just quarantine for... Five days. Well, what are they, so what are, they, what, are they, what, are they, what are they trying to say? Stop operating in fear. And guess what? Even if we do have to shut down, you got a business that you can make passive income from. But don't, don't run your life. Don't depend. My encouragement is don't be dependent anymore on active income. The reason people are taking these unemployment checks and draining the 401k is because they never built passive income. So 2022 is a year you can absolutely completely change your life and no longer to be uh, uh, um, in a situation where you complain because nobody's sending you a check. You're creating your own check. That's this conversation. That's why we're here. And then what is, what's the payoff though? What's the payoff? Here's the payoff. Hey mom, hey dad, guess what? Come to the dealership, why, why? Why am I coming to the dealership? Because I want you to look at the white one, the black one, or the red one, and pick one, because you're driving at home. How many of you guys would love to buy a car for your parents? Right? You, you, surpri you surprise the crap out of your kids. I, I, t I tell you this, you know, you, know, you, know, you know what JoJo said, our 11-year-old? Poppy, I'm so glad we went on vacation with the Bed Davis. I says, why? Because <clears throat> I didn't want to watch the news anymore. Because the news just makes you want to get scared. My 11-year-old said that. that. That was no program, by the way. That's just how he's feeling watching the news. We don't have to worry about people dying every day. I was just glad to come out here. Because he saw in Montana, people just skiing all over the damn place. Shh. I want to travel to these places with you. That'd be the fun part. Your children, ma imagine your kids hanging around my kids. All right, that, that, that's the conversation. Why? Because our, my, my, my standard, my kids, you can't play video games unless you've read for an hour. Read for an hour, you can play video games for an hour. You can't play video games longer than you've read. Imagine what happens when your kids are hanging around my kids. My son's like, hey, did you read? Well, we can't play video games. So instead of you holding your kid accountable, our kids are holding each other accountable. That's, that's this, you know, this ecosystem that we're creating with inside PHB. For example, they go to school, hey, hey man, you're getting grades? Cool. What's up, bro? Right? You're, not, you're not doing that, you're not having that, they're, like, they're sidelining. Right? Hey bro, did you, uh, you start a business yet? How come you start a business? Are you, are you trying to live off your mom and dad? Come on, man. I knew you since this, this, this old. You're trying to lean on your folks? Come on, start your business already. Hey dude, you're marrying the wrong girl. You're marrying the wrong, you're marrying the wrong guy. That's not something that your mom and dad would be proud of. You bring her home, you bring him home, are you sure? You sure? 
after all the vacation we take, after all the relation we built, that's the person you're bringing home to mom and dad? I don't know, man. <laughs> remember, you're not having that conversation. The kids are. That's, that's the future of building. Hey, you running for governor? I am running for governor. Broke. I need you to show up for me, man. You're the governor of Arkansas. I'm running for governor of Texas. Show up to my convention. Really? No problem. Bring, bring, uh, bring your reporter buddies. Bring your, bring your donors. Run for the same party. Now, what's happening? Now your kids and your grandkids are starting to create policy change that can affect our community. <laughs> so instead of waiting for a politician to do it for us, have your own family. Somehow, some way, our children are going to be involved in that policy-making conversation. Instead of waiting for somebody else to change it for us, we've bred them in-house. And I hope that you work with urgency. This passive income thing that can happen to you in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, or it can happen in the next 12 months. All right? I like urgency. I like things quickly. So that being said, guys, let's all stand up on your feet and get us a PHP out. Our last BOM for 2021.